What's your New Year's resolution, mate? Good morning and welcome to In The Car With Clint. For those of you that have good understanding of geography, you will realise it's not the morning and that the sun is behind me and I'm heading to the hills of Adelaide, but that's not the segment. It's getting to that time of year where people are going to start asking you, what's your New Year's resolution? Or what are your goals for next year? And I had a phone conversation with a good friend of mine earlier and he's like, what's, what's the plan for next year, mate? Mate, once he got some accent. What's the plan for next year, mate? And I said to him, ultimately, for me, I plan to be more intentional next year. And I feel that in a year that has had a lot of uncertainty and that's made it very difficult for people to plan and to be um, intentional with their behaviours, it's been really hard. And I think that a lot of us have kind of just thrown our boat in the water and just let the current take us wherever that may be. And I, I don't know if that's a combination of... Um, there being so much money in the market and that the industry is so busy that um, it doesn't matter what shit you serve up, someone will pay for it and eat it. Or if it's, you know, just um, the uncertainty of COVID. I don't know why, but I feel like this year, this, this last two years has given a lot of people um, a reality check around life and business and what matters to them most. And um, it's also shown people that things can get changed without your permission very quickly. Now, next year's not gonna be much different from a things can change very quickly, but I think it's gonna be for different reasons. And I encourage you to think about what your business might look like if you can't buy AdBlue for your trucks. Or what does your business look like if you can't buy quarry rubble because the trucks can't deliver it? Or what does your business look like if urea becomes unavailable in Australia? Or what does your business look like if any of the key components that you use come from a country that decides to reduce the availability? Now, by no fault of your own, your business could be ripped out from underneath you because of the external impacts. And... You need to be prepared for that. And I think it's important to be more intentional and um, very focused in the coming 12 months because I think the next 12 months is gonna make a lot of people and it's gonna break even more people. I think the government have been very supportive of a lot of people over the last 24 months and that's gonna start to the cracks are going to start to show for people that have only been here because of luck and not skill. And if you want to be one of the people that come out as a shining light on the other side, you need to be more intentional. So what does that look like? That means that you need to be decisive around what you do, when you do it, who you do it with, how much you charge for it, and why you do it, so that you have a very, very clear understanding of what your expectations are and what your plans are and what you do rather than just being a yes person and saying yes to everything that comes along and discounting to keep people happy and getting involved in markets that are maybe not in line with your key business so that you have full control over the things that matter to you so that you're at your best when things get tough so that you survive that. I hope that made sense. I hope that didn't sound too dark and gloomy, but what goes up must come down. And another good friend of mine today quoted, might have been Rupert, bigger the boom, bigger the bust. A lot of you have never experienced, me included, 17% interest rates um, and banks not having money and stock shortages and everything just stopping. I'm not saying that's going to happen, but wouldn't you be better off preparing for crisis and being ready and it not happening than not preparing for a crisis and it happening? 
I'll leave that for you to work out. Thanks for tuning into In The Car With Clint. I know that wasn't all about intention, and it was a bit jumpy. It's something I've been thinking about and I wanted to get it out and I'm, I don't retake these. So um, that's my thoughts. I hope that was followable and that uh, it's helped at least one of you to be a bit more intentional about how you handle your coming 12 months um, so that you protect the people that matter to you the most from whatever the world throws at you. Because ultimately, no one cares about you more than you. And that if uh, you need to make sure that you protect yourself at all times. It's like the UFC. Anyway, thanks for tuning in to In The Car With Clint. Be kind to each other. Most importantly, be kind to yourself and the people around you. And uh, talk to you tomorrow. See ya.